can't imagine another city in Asia that would have served us as well as Hong Kong has. The U.S.-based Savannah College of Art and Design took its first step into Asia by setting up a campus in Hong Kong using this historic courthouse building. What this really represents is a great iconic facade within the district. Yeah. It's, it's a very recognizable, it's simple architecture, but very powerful. I've never been in a place that, that has been so um, eager for things to happen, to make things happen. And the partnering that happens with the government and with the local industry and with the local communities has been really amazing and has really ensured the overall success of, of SCAD Hong Kong. This is one of the original courts that we've preserved pretty much as it was when it was built in the 60s. The bones of the architecture you can definitely yeah. tell are 60s, but being SCAD and being an art and design university, we wanted to you know, make sure that there was an artistic bent to it. The private university got its start in 1978 in the U.S. state of Georgia. The Hong Kong campus went online in September 2010, allowing Asian students a way to earn a U.S. degree closer to home. Originally, I wanted to go to the U.S. to pursue my study further. Unfortunately, since I've been living in Indonesia for so long, and we feel like it's too far away, and we feel like Hong Kong is the best place to be, and because there's also many opportunities here, and people appreciate art here, so we think it's a great choice to study art here. I was looking for uni in art school with my counselor, and then we found SCAD, where I could study painting and architecture, interior design. So I came here to be creative. I have to be somewhere else. Um, just experience something with the place I'm in, and I, that's what I have here, which I wouldn't have in France. What we started to look at is, is where were the, the international students coming from, coming to Savannah? And of course, Asia was sort of that region of where these students are coming from. Here in Hong Kong, we currently offer 21 degree programs at Bachelor of Fine Arts, Masters of Arts, and Masters of Fine Arts levels, really focusing initially on digital media, communication arts, including graphic design, advertising, illustration, digital media in the sense of animation, motion media, visual effects. This past fall, actually, we launched seven new programs focusing on fashion, fashion marketing and management, interior design, sequential art, and painting. So we really are looking at, you know, filling out that true art and design focused offering to local Hong Kong students in the region. Many of the students here get involved with internships with local companies in Hong Kong. Why is that so important? SCAD's mission, which we take very seriously, is to prepare talented students for creative careers. It's not just art for art's sake. It's really giving them the skills to be great artists and designers, but also the practical and professional know-how to turn that into a long-term career that's going to serve them through their lifetime. And so internship job placement is a huge platform and really something that we push our students to get involved with right now while they're in school so that it makes that transition from classroom to studio that much easier from the student's standpoint because it's not just about the degree, it's about how do they apply that degree to a profession, but also from the industry standpoint because we hope to build a pipeline of creative talent that they can tap into and that they can continue to grow their business, grow their economy, and therefore hopefully grow Hong Kong as that creative design hub that's an overarching goal for the city. Why was it important to SCAD to use an historic building like this one? We are very lucky to be in the North Kowloon Magistracy Building, which we were awarded through the Development Bureau and, and the revitalization scheme that they put forward. And the building itself really lent itself well to being converted into an education facility. These would be the holding cells as the court calendar was happening. We could have taken all the bars out and refreshed it, but again, this is just part of the story of the building. We kept one of the cells exactly really how it was, <laughs> or would have been as it operated as a magistracy. As you sort of come through here, you see that graffiti scrawled on the walls. Um, up here you see Chinese, but um, there's actually English and Arabic as well. And really, our, the students actually do use this space. It's an amazing building. We looked at several cities um, in China, in Singapore, you know, here in Hong Kong. Hong Kong really allows a lot of flexibility in how to operate. It truly is the, a gateway to Asia. The international makeup of the city, the dynamic, that's happening right now, the emergence of, of design as a true focus from the government and from the public here really made sense to us. 
And I think really any business can benefit from the amazing pace and intensity and relationships and connections that, that everyone in Hong Kong is really looking for.